Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to talk about some very useful resources that you could use to learn Hungarian. I will start off by mentioning uh, a few books and then towards the end of the video I will share with you guys some very useful websites as well. Now the first book on my list is definitely Asimil Hungarian with Ease. This method is for uh, teaching four languages through listening and reading. On one side you have the text in your target language, in the language you're currently learning, in this case in Hungarian. So, for example, in the first chapter you have a short text in Hungarian. You have the same text translated into English or your native language, in this case it's English. You have it in the other page, usually, and you also have grammar included. So whenever you have uh, some doubts you can check the grammar section below uh, each text. Now, the book itself has 100 chapters and at the end of each chapter you have uh, translation exercises. Now, as I said, the grammar is included, but you kind of pick it up naturally. It's, that's why it's called SML, I would say. It's a natural assimilation of the grammar. It's designed for an organic learning of the grammar. Um, this is the physical book, which is uh, it's a pocket-sized book. I think it's very practical. Uh, of course, this is in Russian. That's why I showed you the PDF. I only have the PDF version, but this is just to give you some idea of how the book looks. Uh, it's yeah, so this is how it looks. And at the end of the book, you have uh, uh, a mini dictionary, and you have also um, an overview of of the whole grammar. So I think it's a very nice book. I use this method uh, for I think Portuguese, French, and this time the last time it was for Russian. So go ahead and check it out. Now the second book I would like to mention. It's called Gyakorló Magyar Nyelvtan, which in English would be a practical Hungarian grammar. This is for you uh, guys who want a more systematic overview of the Hungarian grammar. Uh, it might be discouraging for, for most of you, but I think it's very, very useful. It's worth purchasing, by the way. Um, and here, for example, let me show you this. So you have on one page you have a new concept introduced, for example, uh, the adjective, you have, uh, you have it on one page and then and you have the theory in Hungarian written in two languages, in Hungarian and English. And then you have on the other page you have grammar exercises uh, or just simply exercises. Uh, they are not translation exercises, usually you have to uh, choose the right option. Uh, where you have to fill in the gaps, which I think they're very good exercises just to consolidate what you have already learned. So I consult this book very often. Um, when my students have doubts, I also uh, look up some grammar concepts here. So I use this book very often. I think it's a very, very good overview of the Hungarian grammar. Now, moving on, I have three other books, um, Teach Yourself Hungarian, Colloquial Hungarian, and Complete Hungarian. Now, I have had students who had used these books and they were, they were very satisfied with them. I think they're just as good as Asimil, if not even better. I use these um, books, but um, not for Hungarian. I, I use them also for Russian and maybe, I think it was Portuguese. Uh, I haven't tried them for Spanish though, but uh, so, Anyway, please feel free to try them out. I'm sure most of you have heard uh, about these books. I think they're very, very valuable. Um, me personally, I use Asimil most of the time and I also recommend my students to use that. But um, when I teach, for example, I record my own um, audios, uh, I write my own text and that's what I give to my students. So I don't rely on these books. These books are only for those who want to study on their own and those who want to make progress on their own. So this is meant for, for those of you. Um, so yeah, these were the books and now let's move on um, to the websites. So the first two websites are mainly about giving a more thorough overview of the grammar. Uh, they are quite simi similar in this regard. Now the first one is called HungarianReference.com and if you go here on the left side, if you want to find out more about grammar, you obviously click on it. Then you have uh, the whole grammar divided into uh, different sections and subsections. You have adjectives, adverbs, nouns, etc. If you click on nouns, you have all the cases listed with the corresponding uh, suffixes. You click on accusative, for example. 
uh, you have here on this page, you have a lot of Hungarian sentences, examples, and everything explained uh, clearly in English. Now, I have come across myself, I have, I have seen a couple of mistakes and inaccuracies on this website, but all in all, I would, uh, I would recommend it, so feel free to use it. Uh, don't take anything for granted. There are a couple of inaccuracies, but most of the time, like overall, it's, uh, it's, it's very good, I would say. It's well-structured. Well now, the, the following website is quite similar to the previous one. Uh, by the way, I will leave a link to all these uh, three websites in the description below. So don't worry about that. Now, on this website, uh, again, you have everything uh, you need um, related to Hungarian grammar. You have the explanations in English. You have uh, um, the examples in Hungarian with different uh, words and so on. For example, you, you have all you need um, related to vowel harmony. Uh, for example, um, let's see, let's choose common adverbs. The first thing that pops up, pops up is uh, the suffix that one needs to form uh, adverbs. Uh, for example, yo is good. Now, if, if, you, if this is obviously an adjective, if you want to form an adverb, then you add this L ending and then it becomes well. So if, if I ask you, hogy vagy, how are you? You answer, jól vagyok, I am well. And so on. There are so many examples. So feel free to check them out. It's really, it's really, really worth uh, worth uh, giving a try. Now, the last website, which in my personal opinion I think is the best, it's called Magyar Ora. It looks like this. Now here you also have resources, other uh, books. That here you also see Hung uh, practical Hungarian grammar, the book that I mentioned before. Uh, but what's even better uh, is that you have these sections here. You have grammar, you have uh, different topics, you have uh, short exercises, you have pronunciation exercises, you have even literature, simplified uh, text, and so on. So, for example, if I click here on tematikus feladatok, let's see, uh, everything is divided, it's categorized um, according to a uh, beginner, intermediate, or advanced level students. So if you, for example, want to know, want to find out how to introduce yourself properly in Hungarian, you, you can come here, for example, Magam uh, Rol, um, saying it's about myself, about me. You click on the PDF and you can also download it. It's totally free. It's totally free. You don't have to pay. And here you have a short introduction uh, this is for beginners level students, so it's quite suitable. And then it's your turn to write your own introduction. Okay, and uh, of course you have a lot, you have a lot also, a uh, lot of information about grammar. So if we, if we go back, let's see, uh, we go to grammar. Here you have everything you need to know about the present tense, the past, all the tenses, uh, let's see, the present, simple, indicative, click on the PDF, and then you have tables with the corresponding ending, how you conjugate verbs. It's really just amazing. It's really just amazing. You have um, the verbs divided into three different groups, depending on how you conjugate them. You First, you have the regular verbs, you have uh, the, the, the verbs that end in sh, sh, s, z, and you have also the ik verbs. Anyway, um, give it a try, guys, and, and see it for yourself. Okay, so this was it. I hope you enjoyed my video. If so, please uh, give it a like, share it, and also make sure to subscribe. It really helps me. Thank you very much, and take care. Sziasztok!